ですと同時に使えるんですよ。あの位置変えないで。Oh. うん、こういうふうに。You can correctly measure the distance from your opponent with the katana you are using now. これが次やる大丈夫だ。これが次の冗談です。やっとこう突き立てるってね。冗談です。やっとこう突き立てるってね。冗談です。やっとこう突き立てるってね。冗談です。やっとこう突き立てるってね。冗談です。やっとこう突き立てるってね。皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Las As Six and Say. I love to be your host Shogo from Las As Shogo, and this is Six and Say. Six and Say. 本日もよろしくお願いします。はい、します。します。前回ですね、特殊な構えという私のリクエストで、うん、あの構えをいつ想像していただいたと思うんですけれども、特殊なもの以外でも、まあベーシックな構えのことというのが、まあたくさんあるということで、ぜひですね、人類の他の構えについても教えていただきたいなと思っております。はい Every EI and Kenjutsu Ryuha style has its own Kamae stances. But because our Ryuha, as I mentioned you, has 400 years of history since the end of the Sengoku War period, there are 16 kinds with the basics alone, many of which involve techniques born of the assumption of wearing samurai armor. So today, Six Sensei, the 22nd headmaster of Asami Chindu, will introduce the 16 basic stances separated into five categories. Many stances are unique to our Ryuha that absolutely need an exclamation to understand what it's meant for. So please watch till the end to learn more about what fighting with a katana in armor is like. So then, let's get started. First of all, let's learn about the five categories of stances. Toryu no ne, kamae no koto, itsutsu no kurai. Pani yuareru kamae go gyo to nanda kawara nai koto nan des. Tegan, jodan, hasso, kedan, waki kamae to. Tada shi kono katachi ga ban de no are to choto chiga. Henkei mo fukumete katachi ga ikutsu mo aru tiyu. If you've ever read the Book of Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi, you have probably learned about the five elemental stances. In our Ryuha, the categories are the same, but every category has multiple stances. Then, let's start by talking about the first category, Seigan. ね、This is the first and most basic stance that exists in almost every Ryuha style. It's important to point towards the opponent's eyes to control his movements as much as possible. The next Seigan stance is unique. で親指で支えるとほとんどこういう釣り合いですそれでわずかに剣線を落とすわけですそれでわずかに剣線を落とすわけですでこれで相手に歩み寄っていくっていう But this stance doesn't look so convenient for fighting, right? That's because the main purpose of the stance is to measure the distance between you and your opponent 相手の前になった足が自分の目線から剣線の平瀬岩に構えた剣線の影に前の足が隠れたらもう一歩で内まであるっていうふうに測ってるんです。Let's have six and say and s k a r a s a n demonstrate for us. はい、隠れました。はい、隠れました。で、ここからぐーっとこうなるんですよ。あ,あるいはここから。出てくるとき、自分も出てくる、その瞬間にコテ切ってきたりする。それをパッとこ抜いたり、それをパッとこ抜いたり、そういうふうになるんだね。Your vision is severely restricted when you wear the Kabuto armor helmet and Mimpo face guard. By using this stance, regardless of the opponent's stance, you can correctly measure the distance from your opponent with the katana you are using now. This is why we always use this stance to start a Kenjutsu kata. 次は下段が二種類。これでこう行く。あるいはこうしていったりする。要するにこのまま行くでしょ。こう切れるんです。あとはあの夜の立ちね、暗くて見えない。その時に杖のようにしていくんです。こうやって。で、下げて下げて。カチンつったらそのまま切る。ね。This is another stance that's useful when you are wearing armor or when you fight in the dark. You can quickly attack by swinging up when the opponent gets close enough. 
But there is a secret to why the attack from the Geddon stance is so quick. One of the fundamental techniques of our Ryuha style is the loose grip of only putting the tips of the middle finger and thumb together. Using this technique, you can naturally come to this get on stance using the structure of the katana and attack quickly. The second get in stance is more for attacking for the left and right. You can use this to attack the legs, which are the weak points of the samurai armor. The key point of this quick attack is also the loose grip. You move the katana from left to right only with your left hand. It's very powerful if you do this attack toward the opponent's eyes, too. The first jodan stance, Migi Jodan, is often used in basic exercises and kata. The angle of the katana must be a 45 degree angle in the front of your forehead. This is because if you wear a helmet, you can't bring the katana over your head. But on the other hand, you can do this instead. If you point the katana straight up, you can bring the katana over your head, even with the helmet on. So, what are the strengths of the two jodan stances? The Migi Jodan is more powerful, but the Dai Jodan can reach further. You run toward the opponent and quickly swing down to suddenly attack. However, there are not many opportunities where this stance is advantageous. That's why the Migi Jodan is more common. The Jodan category has one more stance that we've introduced in the previous video. You put the tsukagashira, the end of the handle, on the back of your head. But what is the strength of such a strange stance? This is supposed to be meant to prevent the opponent behind you from swinging when you can't turn around to attack. But it doesn't appear in any of the kata and has only been carried down orally. This video of Six Sensei's original kata demonstrates how this stance could have been utilized. everyone if you learn anything new through our stances please let us know in the comments if you have any questions you can write that down there too and our goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 to help us achieve this goal be able to do so much more in the future possibly doing more videos doing more online lessons or even holding seminars in your country or city so be great to help us out by sharing this video with your friends and family everyone thank you very much for watching Want to learn EI and Kenjutsu skills from Kodo Master, Siki Nobita Sensei? Our online lessons have perfect English interpretation and are accessible to anyone worldwide. We will even be providing Don ranks depending on your progress. Check the description box or pinned comment to join now.